फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्टी स्पीकर सर दिस इंसिडेंट हैज नोट अकर्ड सडनली एज आवर ऑनरेबल फ्रेंड सेड दैट सिचुएशन वॉज वेरी टेंस फॉर द लास्ट टू थ्री वीक्स बट आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट एवरी टेंशन डज नोट रिजल्ट इन वोर बट इफ वी सी इट्स ब्रॉड परस्पेक्टिव द इंसिडेंट ऑफ an accession of kuwait occurred suddenly a number of persons of our country were living there and our embassies government and particularly our honorable friend shri gujral did a creditable job there is no doubt that our people have faced some problems that was natural because they were living in an another country if our own country faced such a catastrophe they would have to face the problems and they were not ready for this situation also that is why so many problems are before them and perhaps they will have to confront more problems the government will make its best possible efforts to solve these problems by keeping in mind those suggestions which have been given in this regard mr deputy speaker sir i would like to point out that death of any family member is not so painful as this menace is i feel that the way america has deployed its army there it has not occurred suddenly long time back when oil producing countries particularly arab countries raised the prices of oil america openly declared that she would capture the oil wells at which ussr said if it happened she would not remain neutral now she gets an opportunity to capture oil wells the british imperialism for 100 of years and particularly after the first world war divided the arabs and the situation which was prevailing for centuries under british imperialism is being created again under the leadership of america in which britain is also a part and it is a signal of danger uno and its security council decided that kuwait should be vacated but iraq rejected it the government of india has taken a stand that it accepts the decision of the security council in spite of its problems and friendship with iraq but america and britain have deployed their armies there by violating that decision that is a very dangerous thing i am not talking only about non aligned countries we are on the one side of arabian sea and our arab friends are on the other side arabian sea is a part of the indian ocean mr deputy speaker sir i am raising half an hour discussion on an agreement signed between our itdc and an american company redison because many related issues arose and when i asked some questions about this in the house these were not clarified in the statement laid on the table of this house by the honorable minister this matter is of grave concern that the very answer which the honorable minister gave in his reply to the asterisk question number 69 was incomplete it appeared as if the names 
and the business conditions of those companies were concealed and the facts that should have been made known to the house were suppressed deliberately i think that all the facts would have come to light if right information about the facts had been given to us the second thing is that after reading the statement laid on the table of the house by the honorable minister it appears that an effort has been made by our bureaucrats through the government's decision for multinationalizing a public sector organization ashoka hotel of the national standing establishment by pandit nehru which has been famous inside and outside the country i have noted in the honorable minister's answer that the radisson company of america came into existence in 1983 it is a great fun that the company that came into being in 1983 will impart training and advice about marketing and management to our organization which has experience of 30 years and enjoys good reputation and prestige the agreement signed with the company gives this impression to the whole world that the present government of india is not capable of managing smoothly a public sector hotel it would be very shameful for us all i have read in length the honorable minister's statement in which the facts which should have been pointed out do not find place it simply looks that radisson company of america is being given publicity our bureaucrats have made our government to present itself as an advertising agency for the radisson company in your statement you should have given an abridged description as to how many hotel companies did you contact what were your conditions which company accepted those conditions and the one which did not accept full particulars have not been disclosed of the radisson company with which you have made a deal you have presented only some of the selected matter before us and we have not understood the whole thing stop